What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is The Locker Room, episode 10 of season 6. The Giantes are team building for the Real Maril and their coach, Mega Magui, aka Miguel. On the left, you will see my 11 drafted Pokemon. They are, after all the trades, Entei, Latias, Cresselia, Zapdos, Nidoking, Mega Absol, Granbull, Mega. Nope, not Mega, just regular Metagross, uh, Miss Magius, Ditto and Reggie Rock on the right you will see his drafted 11 and they are organized in a manner in which I think they are relatively most to least likely to come kind of tiered and I'll go over that a little bit as I kind of go through this team builder here but he drafted the Weavile, the Roserade, the Talonflame, Mega Blastoise, Gudra, Gothitelle, Gothitelle, Uxie, Golurk, Registeel, Zeb Stryka, and Primate. So, uh, looking at the top three, he's brought those three to a lot of games. They are his primary and most successful offensive Pokemon. Uh, the Mega Blastoise is almost a guaranteed bring because it is a nice bulky water option and they are very good against most teams, but in particular very good against my Entei. Um, we have Gudra, I think also a decent switch into Entei, a decent answer for Latias, uh, in general a very effective answer to most special attacks, uh, it just becomes a, a big staple there. And then the next row is not in any particular order, I don't think Gothitelle is more likely to come than Golurk or Uxie, I, I just think that one of those guys is going to come, the main reason being that they, are, they will either provide a support option that the team will otherwise lack, or they will bring an answer to Cresselia, and in this case actually also the Latias, which uh, his team may or may not lack. So, um, gun to my head, probably my prediction of his six is Weavile, Roserade, Talonflame, Mega, Blastoise, Gudra, and Uxie. But again, it would not surprise me if that Gothitelle came or if the uh, Golurk came in lieu of that Uxie. So uh, the bottom row are Pokemon who, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. If he brings the Registeel, uh, it's a switch into the Dragon type moves of uh, Latias. It's a switch into Basically anything. Registeel's uh, kind of a just a staple. You just kind of switch in with him. You either size and cost some things. You T-wave some things. You toxic some things. You set up stealth rocks. Uh, he just he's a numbers game kind of Pokemon. Um, there's Zeb Striker who is there to provide. He would provide an electric immunity and just be. Uh, he, he the Zeb Striker is not likely to come against me. Electric's not a very good type against my team. In general, I don't have any water types. My only flying type is part electric and resists it. Uh, he doesn't hit anything super effectively with electric stabs, so there's not really any reason for him to bring it. The Primeape, uh, just no. I have a lot of psychic types. He doesn't have enough, quite enough power. Uh, I don't really have... Just I don't see the Primeape um, as a viable option for him. So let's go over what I did bring. I have Zap Zap, the Zapdos, Dwayne, the Reggie Rock, Johnson, the Reggie Rock, uh, remix uh, Decisions the Entei, the red one the Latias and DDG the Cresselia this week. Zapdos is running a specially defensive with a decent amount of speed investment. The speed investment is there to... Oh man. <laughs> uh, it's to outspeed... Is it... Oh my goodness, I actually don't remember. Oh, it's a, it's a max speed invested Mega Blastoise's speed. So, a Mega Blastoise at max speed um, hits 130, I believe, uh, if it's modest. I won't outspeed max speed timid. The, the reason I chose to do that is that that'll tell me a little bit about the set. If it is timid, I can actually, with this investment, survive two ice beams and roost them off. So, uh, Kind of to, to balance, I'll either outspeed you and be able to switch in, take a, an attack, maybe an ice beam, ro roost it off and watch to see what you do. If you outsped me the second time, you wouldn't have two hit KO'd me, and if uh, you 
fail to outspeed me. I know you're modest instead of timid or that you don't have any speed investment in your bulky, something like that. Uh, Volt Switch, Toxic, Roost, and Defog in my practice matches. Toxic's been really effective against his team. He doesn't have any reliable recovery, so it'll be really useful to get Toxic on as many things as possible. Volt Switch, because I... He, again, because his team, he does have bulk on his team, a good amount of it, but he doesn't have a lot of reliable recovery outside of the Roost on Talonflame. So, uh, he, he has to switch a lot. He has to play a very aggressive game in that sense and uh, force switches and take momentum that way. So Volt Switch is very useful for me with that. Roost and Defog, uh, staple support sets on a support Zapdos. Dwayne, the Reggie Rock Johnson, running a weakness polish, uh, a weakness policy rock polish set with Sturdy. He is Rock Slide, Ice Punch, and Earthquake. Uh, I couldn't make this set ideal to take on everything. So. The Rock Slide is his primary stab. Dwayne is my primary answer to Talonflame, so I don't really want to reveal it too early or too often, uh, unless I really need to. Ice Punch is there to take on the Gudra. It also uh, hits super effective on the Golurk and the Roserade. The Earthquake is to round that out with uh, a super effective hit on the... Registeel, it also super effectively hits the Zeb Strika. So um, most of those things, those things work fine on almost everything, except that I don't really have anything for the Uxi other than just stat. There are some of them on here that I, I won't be hitting super effectively, uh, but I will, of course, uh, at plus two, still be able to put in a lot of work. So he's max attack adamant. Uh, he has 76 HP investment and a decent amount of speed investment. The speed tier I went to go for is such that after one rock polish, I will outspeed a max speed Mega Absol. Now, I know that I don't, he doesn't have a Mega Absol, but the speed tier he's probably going to be looking to beat on his team is... Uh, Weavile's speed invested just enough to outspeed a Mega Absol, so I outspeed that, and there you go. Uh, so that's why I opted to go for that. Of course, he could just say meh and go 252 speed on his Weavile, and it wouldn't matter anyway, but I'm, I'm factoring it as such. Remix is there because it's a good switch in to Mega Blastoise. Mega Blastoise is... If I let it get Mega Evolved and come in for free, it's a huge problem. So I need to force it to take damage um, on things that it predicts it can switch into safely, and I need to get that, get rid of that thing promptly. And the way I'm going to go about doing that is with this set, Mr. Lychee Berry Decisions, running Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, Natural Gift, and Howl. This set. Uh, can one hit KO a Mega Blastoise after one Howl, as long as it doesn't have too much defense investment? Uh, after Rock's damage, it should also be able to do it. I can also go for Sacred Fire and potentially kill him with the Natural Gift following that. So, um, not a Choice Band this week. In practice, Choice Band was very effective, but the way I was taking out the Mega Blastoise in all my practice matches was really by whittling it, and I was giving it way too many attacks, and I don't want to do that. Mega Blastoise hits very hard and is really good against my team. Um, basically, the only things that could even remotely have a chance of switching into it are hit super effectively by coverage moves he has that are boosted by Mega Launcher. So I there's almost nothing, even looking into the depth of my putting Assault Vest on things, there's very little that can really switch in on the Mega Blastoise. The Zap Zap kind of can, but even just having Stealth Rocks up makes that uh, a really big liability. So that's why I have Remix there to kind of provide that, and that's why I have Decisions with the set it has, because it will have the opportunity to take out that Mega Blastoise, and if I can get a Howl up on any of his defensive mons, like the Registeel or something like that, uh, then I could potentially win this game just outright from there. So. Uh, moving on, the red one is a Choice Scarf, Draco Meteor, Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, Healing Wish variety. Uh, really, I wanted a Revenge Killer.
that wasn't Remix because some of the Pokemon on his team aren't able to beat themselves and thus uh, I wanted a more reliable revenge killer. The red one can be walled by some Pokemon on his team, but uh, I think the offensive presence that it gives me and the ability to healing wish back up decisions could be huge for me this week decisions is very good against his team he doesn't have a great way to deal with it if it is constantly finding ways back into the battlefield so uh healing wish is there for that and you'll notice that ddg also uh ha healing wish-esque in the sense of lunar dance so i have two different ways to try and uh recover decisions or any of my other potential threats as I see them. So I need to try and use that to my advantage. Uh, DDG also running Reflect, Light Screen, and Shadow Ball. Uh, Shadow Ball to make it that Gothitelli won't just be completely free to set up on me. Gothitelli doesn't really work well against a lot of the other Pokemon on my team, but it could trap Cress and turn into a really annoying... I don't even know that it would necessarily win outright. It would reveal a lot of its set in the process, and I could pretty easily revenge kill it, but it would really make the game not fun for both me and Miguel, so I just wanted to play in a way that really discourage that. Shadow Ball also makes me a really good switch into Ooxie. Um, it also makes me... It gives me a super effective attack to hit Golurk with. Uh, and... Means that I at least have an attack for the Weavile if it if it traps me and like Pursuit traps me or something like that. Pursuit doesn't actually uh, one-hit KO DDG if I'm switching out. So that's fine. And Knock Off doesn't either, I believe. Um, unless it's like Choice Bandit or something like that. So uh, that's the team this week, guys. Uh, Miguel is getting back from... Uh, I think he went to... He went to a music festival, I believe. Yeah, so he'll be getting back from that music festival sometime today. And uh, we'll get the game going then. So thank you guys for your support. And uh, please check out my opponent. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. You guys got to know him. He is the Season 4 champion. He is an incredible battler. And I've never beaten him in uh, in league format play before, so I'm looking forward to trying to get that W this time. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.